Pacheco High earlier this year, and they tell me that this smoker was actually fabricated by some of the students. Is the ag department you were telling me? Yes, yes. The ag department there at Pacheco High. I'm going to let him tell us real quick because I was so fascinated not the lights up. Tell us about the ag students that put this together for you. Well, it was one student in particular by the name of Caleb Escobar. He made this for his senior project. Guys, and this is a smoker that he does his catering on. It's pretty impressive, of course. So we had to show you that for a second. Let's talk about what's going on with your weather as well. Temperatures in the mid-40s right now for you in the Fresno area. It is colder here in the North Valley. I will tell you that. We're back in the upper 30s right now uh, for the Merced area. 38 degrees in Madera. We're back in the low 40s for Visalia. And, of course, a pretty nice day ahead here. Also, great game day weather for tomorrow. We'll be up to 60 degrees by one o'clock when kickoff happens here uh, tomorrow at the Merced College Blue Devil Stadium here and temperatures do move in the 70s by later on that afternoon. Stay with us to look at the full forecast. We'll walk you through the weekend and yes, more great tailgate food ideas from our friends at Calico Barbecue coming up here in just a few. That looks so good. Mm -hmm. It's 643 already. When we come back this morning, you won't be running into a roadblock for one of these little things during your morning commute, but it is happening in the Bay Area. We'll show you what's in the road that's in danger. Now, your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. Hey, welcome back. I'm Anthony Bailey here on the campus of Merced College. It's all about the Blue Devils this morning. We're having a great time out here. And, of course, we're going to get a chance to talk to them here in just a second. Let's show you what's going on with the weather across the area. It is definitely a cold start, folks. Coat weather as you head out the door. We're back in the 30s from Merced down to Madera. 35 degrees this morning for our friends in Lemoore and also in Hanford at this hour. Some of the coldest temperatures we've seen of the season, and you can't expect a little frost exactly on your uh, grass or over the weekends for you as you get up tomorrow morning. Be prepared for that. Well, of course, we do have freeze warnings in effect across the central coast, and as you can see, temperatures along the valley down as much as 11.
this time yesterday uh, for the Hanford area. Down 7 degrees for Porterville as well. The winds are fairly light across much of the uh, valley floor on this morning. And you can see Fresno got up to 70 degrees as a high for yesterday, which puts us back in the normal range. Although, keep in mind, on Sunday, we were all the way up to 80 degrees. So, a huge cool down this week. And we will see those mild temperatures lasting right through the weekend. Dry skies across much of the southwest U.S., of course. And the good news is for us, we will stay dry into the weekend. Rain, for the most part, staying in the Pacific Northwest, but we will see mild temperatures, of course, continuing both Saturday and again on Sunday. Your four-day allergy forecast brought to you by Dr. A.M. Minion and the Allergy Institute keeps us in the low range, which is great news for those allergy sufferers out there. Forecast highs today in the low 70s for the valley floor with those overnight lows getting chilly once again. Take a look at Hanford tonight. Expected to get down to 33 degrees there, 34 in Lemoore and 36 degrees here in the Merced area. Air quality is holding in the moderate range, which is is definitely good news for us. And here's that extended forecast where we stay in the 70s right through your Veterans Day holiday. All right, bringing it back out here live. We've been having a great time this morning hanging out with the Blue Devils. We talked a little football earlier. We've got the head man himself, the athletic director, Mr. Steve Cassidy, is in this morning. You said you have a very special anniversary you were telling us about. Yeah, 40 years ago, uh, the 1978-79 uh, school year, Merced College won state championships in three sports, uh, football, basketball and baseball and it's a little better than that because that was uh, baseball's uh, uh, second in a row and uh, and basketball's second in a row so there was actually five state championships when you when you slash together the calendar and the school years and wow. we're, we're having an anniversary celebration on December 8th to honor that those state championship team so it's pretty uh, awesome to see the hard work they're being remembered and not forgotten here on campus yeah. Yeah, we're, we're real proud of our athletic traditions. you got to be excited about your programs this year, too. We got a chance to talk to women's basketball earlier today. You were telling us about the volleyball team as well. Yeah. And we've got the Merced College football team here. They've got a big game coming up for us on Saturday, taking on Gavlin tomorrow, 1 o'clock. How excited are you about the game on Saturday? Uh, pretty excited, ready to get, you know, get on the field and get the action going. And what's been the best part of uh, being here at Merced College? What have you loved about being a Blue Devil? Uh, I mean, just like the, the camaraderie, the, the the family aspect of it all, and, you know, just the constant, you know, friendship you have on and off the field. I love it. And, of course, we talked about a lot of the guys being local here and playing in front of the home crowds there. Tell the folks at home where you're from again. I'm from Outer California, Buick Colony, okay. exact. All right, Buick Colony there. you got to love it. What's it like? The How nice is that your friends and family get a chance to just drive over to the stadium and watch you play? Oh, it's really nice. The, they, can, they can come and motivate me and always uh, – Pump me up before games and stuff. It's great. And what's your message to the community? Of course, if they're sitting at home watching this right now, and they're thinking about coming out and supporting you guys Saturday. What would you like to tell them? Uh, come out and support us. It's our sophomore night. I know it's my sophomore night too, so it'd be nice to have a big home crowd and nice to get a win and go out on a strong note. All right, the Blue Devils taking the field at one o'clock. Of course, now let's head over and talk to our buddies from Calico Barbecue. They're here in the Dos Panos and Los Banos area. They are making an insane sandwich. I saw this on their Instagram account. What is this called? called the face melt sandwich. The face melt. Okay, tell us what's on the face melt. We got smoked tri-tip, smoked hot links, and fried provolone cheese on a crispy garlic toasted oh roll. Oh, my God. Joey and Alex, I don't know if you guys heard all that. Let's tell them one more time. I think I heard that. What's all on that sandwich again? Smoked tri-tip. Smoked hot links, fried provolone cheese on a toasted garlic roll. Out of all the tailgate food we've seen on Bailey's Bite, this sandwich may do it. Frank, let's get one more shot of that as we toss it back to Joey and Alex. Mm, that looks mm -hmm. so good. I heard it the first time, but <laughs> you know, hearing it the second time is sunk in more. It did. Yeah. Thanks for rubbing it in, Anthony. <laughs>